I'm here tonight to express my dismay that Kochi's colleague is partnering with Northrop Grumman to encourage STEM students and others to join the Military Industrial Security Complex by training them to become UAV or drone pilots and technicians here on the college <coughs> campus. These students will become remote control killers and spies, helping to destroy our civil liberties, our democracy, and what remains of any positive image our nation has left in the wider world. Northrop Grumman is just one corporation eager to supply visual and digital surveillance of U.S. citizens, warrantless surveillance, in violation of our constitutional rights. I find Cochise College's complicity with Northrop Grumman in channeling children's and young people's fascination with and passion in science and technology into careers of immoral and unethical human destruction to be unconscionable. I ask that you replace curriculum designed and promoted by Northrop Grumman with courses that benefit the common good, such as solar technology, wind technology, water conservation and capture, and xeric horticulture and landscaping. Please think of the legacy that Cochise College leaves with the world. I am concerned about our community college accepting money, hardware, and software from the third largest defense contractor and weapons manufacturer in the world, Northrop Grumman. Northrop Grumman also says, and it's on the, your website, that they are actively engaged in developing course material for Cochise College for the new drone program. A community college should never accept money in programs from a private, and in this case, murderous company. Northrop Grumman does have a bit of a bad reputation. <laughs> And I'm interested in learning much more about how, how all that came together with Fort Huachuca and the three evils of big business, militarization, and universities getting into areas that may not be for pure academic progress. Here at the Douglas Campus of Cochise College, there are currently eight unmanned aerial vehicle courses being taught, six in avionic technology, two in maintenance. Is this a technology as a taxpayer and a concerned citizen that we should support and improve without scrutiny? Is Northrop Grumman exerting undue influence on an educational institution that significantly affects the course of our children's future and the communities? And a lot of my concerns are um mirror what's been said, but two things in particular that I want to just state. And that is I understand the technology is being neutral, moral in and of itself, but as long as it's being used predominantly for unethical and violent ends, I think that you know you can't really divorce the technology from its use. And if I may, uh, I think just to, to share with the board, I did have the opportunity to visit with uh, Ms. Hammer. We had a, a, a cordial conversation, and I shared with her we welcome any type of uh, civil discourse on our campus. We, we welcome the sharing of ideas, and so we we'll welcome that group to come on. We, I, I have provided them some guidelines that are consistent with our policies and procedures of how we will handle that. And, and as we visited tonight, uh, we will expect some of those things to come forth in the future, and we'll welcome them on the campus to, to share ideas. We think that's healthy and important. Let me also just address a couple things uh, related to some of the stuff you heard. We do have some uh, faculty and staff that are here that are that are in this area and would be happy to spend some time with anybody who's interested to know a little bit about what the college is doing in this area. Uh, community colleges, consistent with colleges around the country, utilize advisory committees to help uh, shape curriculum and to help shape many things, whether they be hospitals, whether they be automotive shops, Rather, they, whatever it is in that industry as we prepare people for those jobs. We do not have a drone program as currently constituted within the name of a drone. We do have an unmanned aircraft systems program, which is also in, in partnership with our aviation program. We've been training pilots in, the, in, in commercial pilots since the late 60s, and we're seeing some transition that's in there. We will not participate in the militarization of that. We don't have any curriculum that talks about shooting things out of the sky or surveillance. What we do have is programming that talks about how to operate these systems that will be integrated into the national airspace. We are probably not very far away from FedEx no longer flying 747s with a manned pilot in the front. We'll probably see cargo being shipped with a technology. 
we think we're on the forefront. The, the Federal Aviation Administration has been tasked in 2012 to integrate into the national airspace that type of aircraft. Uh, it's interesting as there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of comments about that, a lot of people have contacted my office. I think you'll find it interesting, the concept of drone rangers, which I believe many of your group has, has titled yourself. If you Google drone rangers, you'll find one of the major uses for the new drone ranger is to actually uh, stop poaching of rhinos, that they're utilizing unmanned aircraft to go into those habitats to ensure that rhinos are protected. I think we're going to see much of that move into the future. Uh, we don't tie ourselves to any one industry. We recognize the need uh, and we try to be on the forefront as we prepare people for meaningful careers. I understand your concerns related to militarization and those things. Please understand that that is obviously a discussion that needs to be brought up in our coursework and we will talk about it and we'll welcome your stuff here. But also realize there is civilian and non-military utilization for much of this technology. And we will see that continue to occur as it moves forward. Um, we're happy to address any of your concerns. We'd welcome you to come out and visit our faculty and staff. We'll show you the things that are going there. We'll open up the curriculum to you. The curriculum that you're seeing in our avionics program is the same technology that is used when they repair uh, autopilot systems that are in regular aircraft, uh, radar systems, all those types of things that make sure planes and unmanned aircraft systems are safe in the skies. Part of the purpose with the Authorization Act that came out in 2012 was to make sure that these uh, devices as they're integrated into the airspace are safe and secure, meaning how can they avoid collisions? How can they make sure that they're in a safe environment? And we think we have a responsibility as a community college that's committed uh, to meaningful careers and high technology that we help integrate and work that into the best interest of, of our entire county, recognizing the concerns that you have.